welcome back to my channel so today i filmed this tutorial on this hair i am wearing a 30 inch crimped already came crimped wig from ali pro hair so i have all the descriptions all the information in my description box um if you guys are interested in seeing how i got this look keep on watching Alright guys, so this is the wig and this is how it looks. I was just trying to show you guys that full pattern. So I'm going ahead and I'm cleaning off the makeup off my hairline. I've realized that your install lasts longer and it does look better when you have a clean install with a clean surface of skin and not with makeup. So I am going ahead and wiping off that area so it can have a clean look. So now I'm just going to be taking my razor and I'm going to be cutting around the ear tabs for my wig install. So guys, this is some beautiful hair. Um, this hair is from Ali Pearl Hair and uh, I over bleached the knots but for some reason you cannot tell that I over bleached the knots. But if you can tell, comment down below and let me know because I definitely did. But y'all, this hair is, I'm just like so obsessed and in love with it. Like, it's like, it's already crimped. It's like crimped pattern hair. Like, these people, like this hair company, Atlee Pro, is literally living in like 2027. Like, I don't have to crimp my hair anymore. Like, I can buy my hair already crimped. So, I'm going in with my first layer of the So Melted Lace Glue. And then I'm going ahead and putting down my thin layer of the second layer. Once those two coats are fully dry, I will go ahead and begin to apply my lace. So now I'm just going ahead and gently tapping the lace and the glue into my skin and making sure everything is completely fully dry. Any parts of the lace that is not fully glued down, I will go ahead and go back, lift it up, and re apply some glue just to make sure that the full perimeter of my hairline is fully glued that is like the key to a beautiful install ladies make sure that everything is fully glued So I went ahead and let my melt band sit on my hairline for like 10 minutes so I can get an extra melt. I'm now going to be pulling out my hairs and I'm going to go ahead and begin to pull out my baby hairs and get the baby hair started. So if you guys fully watch, I will pull out all my baby hairs and then I will cut them and then I will curl them. I'm not going to do baby hair by baby hair. I'm going to do all of them at one time and then swoop them one by one. I'm going to go ahead and take my hot comb now and lightly just hot comb my baby hairs down forward. This is just going to help them lay a bit better. They are kind of like in the pattern of the hair. So just want to pull them out and stretch them out a bit. I'm now going to go ahead and take my scissors and I'm just going to cut off short pieces of the lace. And these are long pieces for some baby hairs but after I curl them. I'm going to go ahead and cut them shorter. The reason why I don't cut them shorter before I curl them is because I won't be able to fully reach the curl and curl it as much as I'd like. So I would end up burning myself. 
so I try to curl them at a longer length and then I'll just go back in with my razor and cut them shorter afterwards. So as you can see right now, I'm taking my razor and I'm just cutting off the excess pieces that I was telling you guys about after I finish curling my baby hairs. I'm now going to be taking my baby hair, baby hair goo and I'm going to go ahead and begin to swoop my baby hairs. Um, I'm just using a regular brush. A company sent me this brush, so I'm just going ahead and just working with it and just swooping up my baby hairs and getting them into motion and I'm going to use my finger to trace and follow all my baby hairs and I'm just going to continue this routine throughout my whole entire head. So guys, I'm coming now to an end of the baby hair tutorial. I just have these last two ones to do. So another thing I want to mention, my camera kept dying, but I did end up putting on my melt band and letting it sit for about 10 minutes. And now I'm just going ahead and taking it off and showing you guys how the hairline looks. Y'all, this hair is so pretty. Everything looks so good. I'm going to be styling it today. Instead of just leaving it like this, I'm going to actually be doing two pigtails, which I thought would be super cute. Give it like a little cute teenage look. So I went ahead and parted out the hair. And I did put some like spritz on it. I didn't try to be like as neat as possible. I just did, you know, my little one, two. The hair is very soft and easy to maintain and deal with. So it parted easy like the parting looked nice and natural like i just put some um got to be spray on it and i also use my slickum spritz and then i'm gonna chase it with my hot comb just to give it a more of a sleek look and after that i'm just gonna take some black rubber bands and i'm just gonna put it in a ponytail and i actually did the same thing for the opposite side as well so you guys will see me just getting that ponytail in but i thought it was just something cute and something different to do because i always do the main same one too so i'm gonna go ahead and just fast forward through that part and then i'll just begin like the talk through part that i usually do with you guys so yeah
all right guys so this is the final look of the tutorial i'm just combing out my two little ponytails i do not know if these things are even even but i just did them like the best that i could okay so i'm gonna show you guys the hair so this pattern is actually a new pattern if you guys aren't familiar with the crimping iron so these are basically crimps so the wig style is a crimp style wig and i just think that this is genius like i literally so when i wash my when i bleach my knots i don't wash the whole entire wig i only wash the frontal part so like it's the curl pattern stays basically like it doesn't even it, it doesn't go away like I'm gonna stand up so you guys can see like um how long it falls down on me I'm gonna try to move all the hair so I'm trying to cover my belly y'all my baby belly but it comes all the way down past my butt but it's so it's so cute so the the knots did come um i did have to bleach the knots but i did not pluck the hair i honestly bleached the knots and then started my baby hairs once i applied the wig i didn't do any plucking at all actually so it's safe to say that you do not have to pluck this hair the hair is definitely pre-plucked oh it looks so good I feel like a doll. Listen, this pattern, I was telling my friend, I'm like, yo, like, it's really like crimps. Like, how you do that? So, I think it's so cute. It makes me look like a doll. All right, you guys. So, let me guys give you guys the details on this hair. Okay, so this is 30 inches of their new crimp wig. This is a frontal unit, which is a 13 by 4. But even though it's a 13 by 4, the parting space on it is really good, as you guys can see. It comes all the way here, so if I wanted to, I could also do a side part. So the parting is really close to a 13 by 6, but it is actually a 13 by 4, and this is their crimp style hair. Y'all, I just can't get over how pretty this hair is. So I do have a code, so you guys can save 10% off, $10 off, my bad. Um, and the code is Ali Pearl YouTube. So I'll have that in the description box so you guys can get that $10 off this way. So, anyways, guys, this is the end of the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it because I'm definitely feeling this hair. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys check out Ali Pearl for some good, affordable hair. I also filmed a TikTok too, so make sure you guys stay tuned on my TikTok for the video. Bye!